a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Oh, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Colby Rebel Show. I am your host, Colby Rebel, where my goal tonight is to bring your loved ones a little bit closer. And we have a lot to do, right? So much. And I know all of you are starting to kind of say, hey, when are we going to get back to normal? When are things going to resume? And it really is a trying time for so many people. We have friends worldwide that are also experiencing these setbacks. So this is a great time to practice your patience. <laughs> Personally, I am not the most patient person being an Aries. Uh, hello, all my Aries friends out there. You can relate. But uh, as we can just find those moments to sit where you are, to find that patience and to trust, trust the universe that you're exactly where you need to be. And maybe we're all exactly where we need to be. And that's just finding that connection and that inner strength, right? So we are going to uh, take some callers tonight. I'm excited. As you know, the callers are chosen at random. So I am going to ask none of you put your phone number in those comments. People have been doing that and we will delete them. I don't even see it until after the show anyway, but we really want to keep this fair and square callers chosen at random, right? Random. Do we all know what random means? Means not in order. <laughs> so that's how it goes. And that's what we want to honor because then that really lets the universe play a part in this and to pick and to help us. Okay. So if you've gotten through recently, please hang up. Let's be fair to all of those that are in the queue that want to get through um, and let everyone have a good chance at having their question answered. You know, we get so many callers and there's only so much time. So just know that. Um, couple things going up. Here's the deal. This is where I get to beg. I am going to beg, please. This is it. You know, you've seen it every week so far. Tonight is the final time for the top 10. Top 10. And that is my goal tonight. So if you will, please uh, give a shout out, give a vote. I would really be grateful. How cool is that? Just kind of getting through each round. Very, very fun. So I also have uh, the advanced circle coming up, okay? So this is the advanced circle, and this is coming up Tuesday night. So if you will join me on Tuesday, this is for advanced students, and this gives us a chance to study, and it gives us a chance to practice, and it really is a lot of fun. So that is for our advanced students, but don't worry, we haven't forgotten you beginners, okay? So this is really for the beginners. This is Wednesday night. So if you are a beginner, just starting out, uh, wanting to play a little bit in that spirit sandbox, as I like to say, that is for you. Now, if you don't really want to circle and you're saying, hey, listen, I would love something private, love some private training. This is the mentoring. There's only two spots left, but this private mentoring is for anyone. This could be whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced, whether you are looking to uh, really drive your business, start your business, any level you want to build your confidence. We really work on a lot of different things. And so you just get to choose where you want to be with it. And we do. it. We have fun. So anyhow, there is a lot happening um, and this is going to be a fun, fun night. So, you know, get settled in. Oh my goodness. You all should tell me the rules, right? We all know what they are. Please no speaker phone. Let's keep this connection as clear as possible. No barking dogs, uh, husbands yelling at the TV, the kids running around. Uh, don't listen to yourself on the radio and then go, oh, I think that's me. <laughs> Take a moment to think of your area code. That's how it works. I'll just say the area code. We pick them out. out we just connect. Um, 
know what your question is. So if you have a psychic question, just a ask that question specifically. And if it's a loved one, again, just which loved one, just because if we were doing it random, there could be so many different people that step forward for you. So we really just like to try to kind of get it as clear cut as we can. So then we get more callers in the line. Okay. And let's hope for some healing and some love and some laughter. And yeah, I say we, we get all, we get all up in here. All right. So here we go. How about eight, six, five. Hey, eight, six, five. Hi there. You're on the air. Who is this? Hi, uh, this is Krista. Hi, Krista. How you doing tonight, honey? I'm good. I'm great, actually. <laughs> good, good. What can I do for you? Um, I was wondering, is it possible to connect with babies that have uh, been miscarried? Oh, I believe 100%. So every, even the baby didn't come into the physical, right? The baby has a soul. Okay. So it's not the physical okay. birth. So the physical birth does not create the soul. The soul comes into the physical body of the woman. Okay. So that soul is there. So whether that soul stays in the body or that soul comes into the physical realm, when that soul transitions, so if you didn't have the physical birth and the miscarriage is there, that soul can absolutely be around and connect. And many, many times, you know, I have spirits come through and they will say, I want them to know that they're still my mommy or that I'm still around them. Um, you don't get a whole lot of things, right? Because you wouldn't be able to validate. So they may give me an impression of a gender but then you would have to want to know that gender, but we can't prove it unless you've had the test. Right. Or they can't necessarily right. give, they can't give their personality unless they're giving me something that you could validate maybe around you or around the, the, that, the father, do you see what I'm saying? So we would have to validate yeah. it otherwise. So, um, are you wanting to connect to a miscarriage? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. having a really hard time moving on. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I can imagine, honey. I can imagine. And were you a, just yes or no? Were you able to get the gender, or was it before the gender no. was revealed? Okay. And would you like to know? I have a feeling of the gender that I'm more than happy to share if you're open to that. And if not, I don't need to say it. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to know. I had a dream right before um, I found out I was pregnant, and I. I felt like it was a girl. Told anybody so, of the gender. Okay, for me, I felt That's like we I, had a girl. Okay, so she gives me a sense of being. What my dream like, said. <laughs> perfect. See, so look, and that just gave me chills. So you, she, you see, she's giving me chills, honey, to let us know she's around you. I feel like she came into that dream to let you know that she is real and that she is with you, right? And you know, why do we have the miscarriages? Now, this is such a tough question because. It, it could be so many different reasons, right? And it could just, there could have been something not quite right with the physical body and it wasn't meant to come into the physical realm. Um, but there's also cases where, you know, that soul, sometimes when we transition, we have our lessons. You know how you have your life lessons? But when you transition, yeah. you have your soul lessons. So sometimes as a soul, they need to kind of have the experience of being able to choose a mom and being able to kind of be there and so you have this soul contract, but they don't need to have the full physical experience. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Um, so I can't exactly say what happened or why it happened, but I can tell you that she definitely gives me the feeling of being around you. And she definitely, I, you know, I believe she would have been very, uh, like liking to dance or like moving her feet a lot. Okay. And again, that's not something you would know, but maybe you should find out when you were a baby, if you kind of like to dance or like, it's it's like kind of moving back and forth is what I keep saying. So I feel her to be very, yeah, I, when, go ahead, honey. When I was little, I jumped on a trampoline like every <laughs> single day and drove everyone in my house crazy. Yeah, <laughs> see, there you go. So you get it. You see, so she's got that, she's got that out like you, all right? And then I do know, um, do you, would someone have given you a little necklace for her or something? Do you understand having a little token that's a memorial? 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Because she wants you to know she knows about this. Okay. And she just okay. loves, she loves that you keep talking to her. So I know that it's been very <laughs> difficult, but she hears that you're talking to her. There's something about her name. Were you deciding her name? Because she makes me feel like she knew her name. Um, I wanted to name her Eleanor. Okay, got it. <laughs> got it. my... Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. So she lets me know that she is aware of this. And then there's a grandmother in the spirit world too, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, name, okay. My grandmother's name was Eleanor. <laughs> okay, so... So she's holding the baby and she lets us know that she's with her. I think she would have called her Lily or Lil, something like this, just so you oh know. My gosh. <laughs> that was my second name for her. Oh, well, she knows her nick. Oh, she gave me chills again. So she knows her nickname, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I, I don't I I I know this is hard and I know it's difficult. Um, but just know that she's around and she's she's fine and your grandmother has her and um one other thing this is um this is a belief and there, you may find some people who give you a different belief system i don't believe she's going to reincarnate into another baby for you all right because she is her okay. own soul she is her soul she is your <laughs> daughter and she will always be there that doesn't mean we won't have another child coming because i feel another child's going to come in okay but I want you to know okay. that it makes me feel like our little Lily is her own little person. And she doesn't like to share. So I don't think she's she's not <laughs> going to come in and share that space. So just so you know, okay? <laughs> All right. I um I never I never met my grandmother. She, she died when my father was like 5 years old and I've always had this connection to her, which is why I wanted to name my uh, see daughter that? after her. Well, so this that's amazing <laughs> how beautiful that they know really that amazing. <laughs> yeah see how beautiful that they know that and i do hope that this brings you some peace and comfort okay yes thank you i really appreciate it <laughs> you're welcome honey you have a beautiful night thank you okay all right bye-bye Bye -bye. So, you know, and I, I love that she was uh, open to asking that question and then open, um, open to kind of have that. So let's take another caller here. How about 253? Hi, 253. This is Colby. Hi, Colby. It's Tori. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, I've been uh, actually experiencing even more since the last time I talked to you. Okay, great, great. And I wanted to see if there's anything that um, I, I've been trying to get messages from it, but I mean, a lot of stuff has been going on. And I'm having a hard time, I guess, putting it all together. <laughs> um, I believe, you know, the best thing to do with it uh, is try not to overthink it and to not put pressure on okay. yourself. Because if you overthink it and you analyze it too much, you're actually getting into the left side of the brain. You're getting into the wrong side for the gotcha. connection. Yeah. So it's one of those things that's, and sometimes too, you, you have to remember, like, it's about, they want to show you as they teach you. So if you keep going, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, that creates pressure and you're, you're probably not going to get the answer. But once you ease around it and once you just kind of say, all right, let me let this go when it comes in, it, it will just pop in for you. And then that's how okay. you will know. Okay. And um, the only other question I had is, it was funny, I was talking with my mom and uh, when she went through uh, being in a coma, um, she had a message from my grandmother that I also had heard. And I was just curious if maybe you could touch base on that because it had to do with me and my daughter. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not sure what you want me to touch base on. Is it you want to tell me what the message? I mean, because I'm not going to tune in to figure out what that message oh, yeah, was. Yeah, so, no, was. What was the message? It, it was my, it was my, yes, it was it was from my grandmother. And um, it was just letting her know that um, my daughter and I still needed her. And and so I was just curious, um, you know, yeah. it, it, I think it, that's really that just her. about, yeah, but it's, you know what it's about, sweetheart? That is just really about, they're saying you still needed your mom or you still needed your grandma. Yeah. 
Your mom, then right? We deleted her. Mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think, look, home. I got oh, chills. Let me tell you this. I got chills. Let me just tell you what this is. It was your grandma being a tough cookie. It was your, so your mom was on the brink of transition. So even though she was in a coma, she that's, was actually on the brink. Yeah. So she, so it was like you, they're giving me chills like crazy. So they were, what she was doing is like your mom was kind of transitioning and she's like, Ooh, this mm -hmm. feels good. There's two things. You heard that because of the mediumship, but you also heard that so that you were willing to encourage your mom to stay and not giving her permission to go. The day before. <laughs> yeah, you see? So, to my grandma. Yeah, but you see how then your mom changed? After that, I believe your mom changed and she started to come back. Oh, and probably gosh, not yeah. too soon after. So it was. So that was your mom. I wonder if your mom remembers the transition or remembers kind of walking the line. You should ask her if she remembers. What she said was that she heard the voice. And yeah. so it was like she heard the voice. She didn't necessarily see anything. Yeah. But yeah. It, it brought her to you. And when she came to you, she realized I had something to fight for again. Yeah. And you know what that is? So she, so she heard the voice but didn't see her. So that means your grandmother was not letting her get across the veil. That's what I think that means. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like she's on the outside of the door. Right? Yep, you're on the outside. No, you're not allowed to come through this door. Absolutely not. You turn around, you get back home. Your girls need you. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's more or less what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah. See, you. Uh, it's wonderful. So, you know, just try to not worry about the size. Did we talk about a hummingbird before? I don't know why a hummingbird just popped in, but. Because it, yes, yes, I've had a hummingbird that keeps visiting me still. <laughs> okay, I actually feel like that's from this grandmother, a hummingbird. Okay. Ask okay. your mom if she's also. <laughs> ask your mom if she also sees that hummingbird. She did, and See? I did ask her because I was kind of <laughs> thrown off. It kept hovering in my window, and I wondered if it was in hers too. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And she just showed the color purple. So. Just know you may be seeing a color purple a lot or connecting to the color purple. Um, and purple is just very oh. healing. And then also with your mom, which is interesting, I feel like maybe your mom, do you know if your mom had any sort of brain, I don't want to call it hemorrhaging. Did she have any brain, something on the brain or swelling or anything that happened to her head? So she ended up septic from a back surgery that went bad. And so the the, it, the infection was starting to go to her brain and okay. I was the one that found her when it was happening. Okay. I, <laughs> so. I just let her know one thing I got around this and I am certainly not a doctor and she's to listen to her, her medical uh, physicians. I just oh, feel absolutely. like there's, uh, although she's a lot better, I think the healing is just more lengthy than she's anticipating. Like I almost feel like things are still yeah. working their way back to normal. And so just tell her to be patient with herself because I feel like she can get a little okay. impatient or disappointed with herself when she's not quite on she's top of it. Angry, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's <laughs> not, that's just a frustration thing. So um, mm -hmm. just, she just needs more time to heal if you can share that with her. Okay. Well, I have, and it's so much, it's so much better hearing that from a second party as well. So okay, good. Well, there you I go. Will continue. Perfect. All right. Well, you have a beautiful, beautiful night story. Great to hear from you, sweetheart, and lots of love. Okay. Lots of love to you too. Thank you so much, Colby. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. All righty, everybody. Here we go. Um, let's see. How about five, four, one? Hello. Hi there, 541. This is Colby. Hello. Who is this? This is Natalie. Hi, Natalie. What can I do for you tonight? Uh, I've just been really depressed. I got fired from my job Monday, and I just wonder what you see for me for work in the future. Okay, Natalie. Um, and I know that's really tough, so I'm sorry to hear about that, you know, and it's stressful, right? And um, Very. You know, and it's it's kind of weird because I don't feel like it was COVID. I don't really feel like it was COVID related. Was someone trying to purposely get you out or do you not know that? Yes. Okay. Uh, Cause like one of the managers and that's I had what, a dispute and yeah, she had me fired. That's what I thought. I felt like this was like a bit of revenge or a bit of getting back at you. And I felt like, 
you know, so I feel like that had something to do with it. Um, but oddly enough, I mean, listen, one of the, aside from what we're talking about, but one of the things is this firing doesn't feel justified. Um, I think that there's some rules that they needed to go by that they didn't. So that's just something for you to look into. Okay. I know you're kind of reeling from that decision, but something about it doesn't feel like yeah. it was handled properly. So maybe take a look to see if they followed all protocol. Oh, okay. for firing me? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I think oh, that there's right. some. I think there's some things in the in the employee handbook that they have to follow certain things and guidelines and they didn't. So I think that, you know, you've got a little bit of action you can take on this too. Okay. Now, the second thing is, is at yeah. the end of the day, you know, I know the timing isn't great, but I also know that you're independent. You're kind of this independent and you are a little feisty. I mean, yes, you got in an argument, but you are feisty too. So I feel like you're you're really meant to be more challenged anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Or a bit more like even yeah. in a management role. So I feel like you were kind of working too low before, below your level anyway. So can I ask what it is you Definitely. do? Um, can I ask what it is you I'm do? I'm a waitress. Okay. So I feel like one of the things to do here, Natalie, is to really, um, are you okay getting back into customer service? You know what you would be great at? I mean, waitressing is always good because we can make tips and stuff, right? Um, but one of the things yeah. you, you would be really good at is hospitality. You know, management and hospitality. I really feel like you would excel in, because I keep seeing you as a manager. So maybe look at a role that would be more of a management position for you. I was thinking about starting my own uh, caregiving business. Perfect. Something uh, like senior care. Yes, something like that would be amazing for you. Absolutely. But just something where you are oh, independent, good. like you're independent. And I think that feistiness is going to help you. Uh, you know, you are feisty. Though. What's your sign? I, I never know the signs anyway. I don't even know why I ask people that. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Because um, you are feisty. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing when you're an entrepreneur, right? And I just feel like for you, yes. I, I just feel like for you that the, the people around you, the elders, would actually really enjoy you. I think you would make it fun for them. It doesn't feel stale and boring. And I think it would keep you on your toes. And I do think you would run a tight okay. ship, you know? So this feels to be really good. I think that this is an amazing idea. And, um, and I already see like it would be easy to kind of get people together for it too, which would be really fun. Because I don't see it being just oh, you. Good. I see as you grow, I see you having people under you. Okay? So I see you having oh, people okay. under you. Yeah. So you might start out with just you, and then you're going to get a couple people. To say, okay, I need help. There's more people. And you're going to get a couple um, employees as you grow, and they're going to be a part of it as well. Excellent. Well, this sounds better than my last job then. <laughs> oh, this, this I is... I just need to... Yeah, you got to just do this. You know, it's going to take a lot of the planning and, and things like that. But it definitely makes me feel like you, you, you really could be doing this in no time at all. I think what it's, I feel like this is such a needed industry, especially now. But I also feel like you're so mm. naturally good at it. So, you know, if there's certain um, qualification certifications, go ahead and do those. Let's check those boxes. But you feel like you're almost ready to hit the ground with this. I really am. I'm about ready to run an ad in the paper. I was thinking about running one tomorrow. See that? You, you're going to love this. You're going to really, you're going to really do this. Are, are you but then I was afraid, oh, Jesus, this is too crazy. Should I just go back to waiting tables? It's consistent, no, the money. No, <laughs> listen, I totally understand the consistency with money, but, you know, Spirit also, you know, and I say this a lot to people, but I, I know this is actually going to make a lot of sense. So. You weren't loving your job anyway, and you were getting the nudge. That, hey, I'm, right. And you're getting the nudge. I'm supposed to do something else. But you kept like saying, well, this is good. This is steady. So you kept ignoring the nudge, right? right. Well, I'll tell you what. Correct. Sp Spirit gives you a couple times. They give you a couple times to take care of business on your own. And then when you don't, they rip the rug out from under you and say, now you're going to do it. <laughs> 
and that's getting fired is oh, doing that's that. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, and and it really kind of comes out of the blue. Like you know, yeah, you had problems with her, but nothing so radical that you thought that this would happen, right? And so I just right. feel like it's meant to happen. So yes, start this, look into this, get all your ducks in a row. But on the other hand, too, look at this. There's something here where I think that there's something around this firing that doesn't feel quite legal. And that's something to look in as well. Hmm. Okay, because it's a private owned restaurant, so it's not like corporate or anything. But if um, you're an employee, you there's certain rights that they have to follow. I don't care if it's mama and daddy. If they if you're an employee. Oh, so just check into that, mm -hmm. okay? They don't get to do it just because they're small okay. mom and pop. <laughs> oh, right. I just figured they had probably more rights. <laughs> no, check into I was, it. They told me to file for unemployment. The girl who had me fired told was being so sweet yesterday, handed me check my check and said, why don't you go file for unemployment? <laughs> yeah, why don't you check, oh, check into terrible. things, check into things and you'll be okay. All right, honey? Okay. All I right. feel so much better. You gave me a lot of relief. You got this. Now get out there. Get out there and make me look like a rock star. Be amazing at what you do so this looks good. <laughs> Thank you. I will. I will. Okay. Awesome. Lots of love to you. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, you know, you guys, a lot of people, you know, it, so here's the hard thing too. A lot of people are still losing their jobs or getting laid off and, um, but there's also people quitting. Surprisingly, I've had uh, several clients that have said, I've had it and I've quit. This is, uh, honestly, I know this seems like it's hard times, but it's really the best time to sort out who you are, what you want, what you want to achieve, and really give yourself that opportunity, okay? Don't be afraid to do it. Okay, so here we go. Let's take another one. Um... All right, here we go. Uh, how about 262? Hi, 262. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, this is Jordan. Hi, Jordan. How you doing, sweetheart? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What can I do for you? I am just looking to see if I can connect with my dog. Oh, got it. All right, what's the dog's name? Um, her name was Lucy Eleanor, but we called her Goose. <laughs> you called her what? Goose. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought you said, Goose. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I feel like, um, you know, I, the first thing I get is light on her feet. Like she, she actually feels light on her feet. So I feel like she would have been, um, very energetic, not like a lazy dog. Am I right? Right, right. She okay. Definitely. It, she was a runner. She loved to run. Yeah. Is there play. something with her paws or is she funny about her paws at all? Because they don't feel heavy to me. Her <laughs> paws feel light to me. No, her paws are super tiny and she loved having paw massages. <laughs> oh, oh, got it. Because like, even you see how like I'm holding my hand. Oh, you, I don't know if you're watching, but if you're, I'm ho uh, there's the other dog. I'm, I'm getting jealous, right? I'm holding my hands, but I almost <laughs> feel like she's a little princess around her paws. So yeah, she's a runner and she all is. that, but she's a princess around her paws, right? Um, and she, right. and she gives me, she gives me, oh, she gives me the feeling, you know, right? Oh, it's a shame you can't see me. Um, but right by her neck, so between her ear and her neck, I think there's a special little spot that you would touch or caress because she makes me feel like she really loved this particular spot. So do you recognize that spot? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then she gives me the feeling, her little eyeballs, oh my God, just stop it because, she, you know, I, she is very sweet. But I'm going to tell you, you know how many times she manipulated you because she shows me oh these, <laughs> like, wait, she shows me these really sweet eyes that make it look like the world is going to end. And all she was doing was try to get what she wants from you. So oh, she totally knew that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do think she did car rides. I felt like you took her in the car because she makes me feel like she loved her car rides. 
Yeah, yeah, we went on a lot of adventures. I was mm-hmm. always bringing her in the car with me. Do you have either a bag for her? I, I don't know. She's in the bag or you just have her goodies in a bag. She keeps making me feel like she's got her tote bag. Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. I have um, a bag that <laughs> I carry around on all of our Her toys? We have her collar on it. Oh, there you go. She knows about this tote bag. So she knows she's a legend, right? She knows she's a legend. <laughs> she does. Um, but she enjoyed being a rock star. She re- she enjoyed the attention. She enjoyed, but she's all you know. Listen, she's also very very loving. I mean, so sweet and so loving. Um, she was getting older though. Am I correct? Because I feel her body aging, and there's something with her teeth. So did you did what, did something happen to her teeth, or were you having trouble with her teeth? Teeth, not that I know of. She actually um, was only five when she passed away. Um, And we thought that she would live to be, you know, anywhere between 12 and 15, probably, because she was so small. Yeah. Um, Nothing with her teeth, but she did have a lung collapse. Okay, okay. That Um, might have been part of that. I'm kind of, so she definitely, you know, the eye teeth, she definitely keeps giving me the eye teeth. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if, did she show mm-hmm. her teeth at people that, or was she like suspicious of people and then would show that little eye tooth or there's a connection to oh, her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's <laughs> that it then. That sound right. <laughs> okay. Cause I just want to, you know, when some dogs lift up that one side of that lip, like Elvis and show that eye tooth, like, don't you dare. I, I'm on to you. It's a stink eye yeah. for a dog. <laughs> She was sassy like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what it is. I, I just feel like, you know, it's crazy because she's five, but my goodness, what a fulfilled life she had. She likes the um hiking, too, or out in the nature. She just makes me feel like she loves being out and about. Um, So oh, she loves this. So <laughs> yeah, she loves this as well. Um, And I do feel like... um. I kind of get this sense that, so just know that I I think that there was a disorder. So yeah, the lung collapsed, but I think there was some sort of disorder that that no one would have been able to catch. It's not like you would have caught this. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. But I, I just feel like she, she's, I know this is hard for you, but man, she feels great to me. Uh, I mean, she is running, (laughs) screaming, uh, very excited. She doesn't feel like her life was cut short at all. Like she, it, there's nothing about it. And so I just feel like it's knowing that. And then one last thing, this is kind of, uh, do you have um, a drawing of her? I mean, it could be a photo up on a wall, but I, I almost feel like somebody drew something or, um, yeah. Is there something different? Yeah. I've got, I have photos of her everywhere and I actually have, um, a watercolor painting that. Oh, I that's it. With her, yes, with that's it. Paws. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's, she knows about this watercolor painting. That's what it is. So just know that she knows about this watercolor <laughs> painting. So she loves being around you. Um, and she loves being with you. And then, um, I don't know if pink was her favorite color or if you used pink, but she makes me feel like she really likes the color pink for what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> and she loved Yeah. She had um, pink and purple collars and yeah. her vest that she wore was purple. And, <laughs> and then one last thing. Oh yeah. She showed me a vest, but th- is there um, on her dog tag or something? Do you have crystals on the dog tag or are there crystals on something? Maybe some bling, um, like a, a no, bling. No, not. Do you have anything of hers that's got a little bling to it? She's telling me, yes, you do. So I got a sort or a keychain. There's bling, sparkles. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I have so much in my life that's related to her. I'm sure oh. something is blingy and shiny, and that would definitely fit her personality. Okay, well, so. she, she loves it. I just feel like she wants you to be bright. She wants you to shine. She just doesn't. You know, it's like, don't, don't shed a tear, honey. I, I, I mean, obviously you have to grieve, but from her, like, don't even, don't even worry. Like you need to know I'm okay. You gave me the best life. I, I, I really had so much fun and you really gave her free reign. And that's exactly what her little spirit needed. Right. Oh my God. So you just don't (laughs) feel like you contained her at all. So she is so grateful for that. 
I will oh, one last thing. So She's a, she, I know yeah. you got that other dog because we heard it. And again, and the other dog is okay, but our little goose here is a little territorial. You need to know she's a little territorial. I don't think she likes to share things. <laughs> so just be careful of what yeah, toys you're letting it. her play with, okay? <laughs> that if, does not surprise me. If if I'm, you I'm see that dog for a sign, a sign that, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah, well, real quick, if yeah, you I'm, see... Yeah, I'm always looking for a sign that she's with me. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing is, is if you see that other dog playing with a mutual toy or doing something, and then the lights or something funky with the lights, you got to know that's Goose going, oh, no, you don't, not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, that's and awesome. then one other thing, like, uh, one thing one thing will happen. Uh, like, I'm going to see if you can hear this. I don't know if you can, but her nails are like this. I don't know if you can, can you hear that at all? If not, listen to the playback. I, I can't, but I'll go back and listen, listen to the I'll playback and watch it. Okay. Definitely. I want you, I want you, I hope everybody can, but otherwise it's like light nails on, on a hard surface. Like when a dog has a little bit of nails, yep. you're, you're going to hear <laughs> that in the that house. She was tap dancing. Yes, ta that's exactly <laughs> right. That's exact. You'll see that's what my fingers are doing. She is doing that in the house, but there's going to be a point where you actually hear it. You're going to hear it. And you're going to say, oh my gosh. So, oh, okay. She gave me chills. So she's definitely going to do that. So just relax. Let yourself do, have the grieving process and just know that she's around you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And lots of love to you. Lots <laughs> of love. Okay. Thank you, Colby. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye. Okay. All right, everybody. Oh, well, talking to animals is so much fun. I, don't you love it? So, you know, kind of going back to um, our first caller of the night with the miscarriage. Um, yes, pets have souls. Our animals, our fur babies have souls. If we have a soul, we can connect. And, you know, depending on what information you can get, get is different. Um, but as you can see, we were able to get some fun stuff around specifics and her personality. So they really are willing and ready and wanting to um, share. So there we go. All right, here we go. 207. Hey, 207. This is Colby. Hello. Hi. Who is this? Hi, Colby. It's Kathy. I haven't talked to you in about a year. Oh my goodness, Kathy. How you doing, babe? I'm I'm getting there. Uh, how about you? Good. You're still smoking. Your mom said you're supposed to quit. Yeah, I know. Kathy. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you wanted to Don't talk to your up, mom. mom. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to talk to your mom, but she came right on in saying, I told her to quit that. I'm not even going to say the next few words. Smoking. She knows it's not good for her. Doesn't that sound like your mom? Isn't that funny? That does, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. No, if, if mom has something she has to, wants to tell me, I'd love that. Yeah, just, you know, that she cares about you and that this feels like it's been a bit of a difficult time for you. Um, but she, you know, in all yeah. honesty, with COVID, she is worried about your your health and your breathing. So she really does need you to do to do everything you can in your power to take care of yourself. You know, she does. She gives you you definitely. I mean, Kathy, I don't know, but you have you been experiencing more breathing problems or chest issues or anything to do with your health more recently? Yeah, heart failure. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta, you know, we, you know, just know your mom loves you and. She loves you, but she's not ready to receive you yet, right? So um, maybe just do the yeah. best you can to take care of yourself. Okay. Um, well, that's nice. I, she's funny. It's funny right away when you picked up on that. That don't surprise me, though. Yeah, yeah. It just feels like, um, yeah. I, you know, and I, I do, again, I, I am... You know, Kathy, I am not trying to scare you at all, but I don't, I keep seeing an oxygen tank with you. So I'm not sure if someone's trying to get you on oxygen yet, or if there's something that they're trying to do to your heart or lungs. But, you know, again, you just do your part so you can, you know, stay as healthy as you can for as long as you can. No, I've been avoiding it. One of my little fur babies has been sick. 
Oh. And, right. And that's why I'm not going into the hospital because I get a, she's, she's sick right now and she's got kidney failure and I don't want to leave her. Yeah, but just kind of keep in mind, I, I totally understand it, but then who's going to take care of her if you're not here because you didn't take care of yourself, right? So we, we got to make right, sure yep. that even if you're in the hospital for a few days, um, you know, that might just give you what you need. Make sure you're taking care of you. It's so important. You know, put that oxygen mask on first before we put it on another. And I, I understand the fur baby thing, but I also want you to make sure you're taking care of you. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. yes. No worries. I don't, you no know, worries. the thing with this uh, pet, um, I, I just feel, you know, again, I, you know, I just feel like this pet is at a place where, you know, you're going to have to make it just as peaceful and comfortable as you can. Um, I'm not really feeling there's much you can do to kind of, uh, reverse what's happening to it. Um, right. but I do feel like it's, it's making sure that you're making them as comfortable as you can. Okay. Yes. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw carrot. What uh, pet is this for you? It's, it's the bunny. She's 11 years old. Okay, so just know, you know what? Feed her the darn carrots. Mush those things up. She has a hard time chewing. So mush those things up for her and give her some carrots. Like almost like a carrot puree. She'll love that. Yeah, I'm actually syringe feeding her. And oh, the doctor there you go. said it's like she's a miracle bunny. Yeah, she, she is a miracle bunny, but I think for the length of time that she's staying with you, right? Um, but let's just yeah. keep her, let's keep her comfortable and not pass where she's comfortable. Make sense? Right. I know it's hard to let go, but she right. let her, She will let you know. So that's the other thing. This doesn't have to be your decision. Just watch her indicators. When she doesn't want to eat anymore, you're going to know that that's about the time that we need to help her. That's exactly what I was telling Tina. I said, I feel that she'll tell me. She will tell you. Just make sure you're being open to listening, right? We don't want to we don't want to muscle that decision. Right. You know how it is. I, I just know that feeling. So, oh, yeah. all right, sweetheart. So lots of love, but I need you to take care of you. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. No all worries. Right. It was so nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. Lots of love to you. And you have a beautiful night. Okay, Kathy? Thank you, Colby. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, gosh, everybody, time is flying by. So let us do something quick here. One last quick one. Two, four, zero. Hey, two, four, zero, you're on the air. Who is this? Hi, Kobe. It's Wayne. Hi, Wayne. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing what, good. What can I do for you? Um, well... I'm trying to figure out my balance between my career and my spiritual journey. Because, uh -huh. Like spirit is telling me to do, you know, more healing and everything like that. And then like, I really want to get my other businesses off the ground, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do as far as paying the bills. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and then can I ask what the other business is? Um, it's actually two. I'm inventing a beauty invention, and oh. I have a subscription box company that has, like, beauty, fashion. God, that like, sounds like So fun. instead of just one box, yeah, instead of just one box that sells, like, makeup and stuff, it yeah. has clothes, beauty, oh. fashion, oh my all God. in one box. I love beauty and fashion and clothes. All right. Um, you know, here's the thing. I, you know, and I'm going to be really honest. We can't, uh, you know, we can delay spirit, but they're going to win. All right, Wayne. I, you know, I, I definitely right. yeah. feel around you a calling. I mean, I, there is such a, as much as I want a box, <laughs> there is a calling for you. <laughs> there is a calling yeah. for you. and. I feel like 
to listen to that calling. I know you have to pay the bills, but you know, some of that's your own mindset. Some of that's, you know, your own, can, can a starving artist make money, right? Can a writer live abundantly? Can an right. actor live abundantly? So some of that is just your mindset. So I do feel like it is really working on building it. Then with the other stuff, just see what you can have other people help you with. You know, I think you still can have those other businesses. They don't feel like they, they have to be a no, but I think maybe just seeing where you can have help with them. So find someone that will help you with it. Um, but the, right. the, the spirit calling definitely feels like that's, that's where you're headed. And, and, and I think that yeah, they're going to keep hitting you. And I think it's going to get stronger and stronger. It's going to get harder to focus on the other stuff. Um, and I feel like yeah, if you say yes, absolutely. to spirit, yeah, if you say yes, to spirit, they're going to provide, I mean, you have to do your part, but you know, you already have a business savvy, honey, you're already business savvy. So, you know, that entrepreneur right. spirit you have will help you become successful in your spiritual work. So I'm not too concerned about you making a living. I'm really not. I, I really feel like you can do this and do it well. And I feel okay. like you can be yourself too. I want you, like, I just see you shining um, and even shining with how you look too. So I'm not sure how you look, but I almost feel like you, you have a look that is exciting or bold and it's like celebrate that look as well. Right, right. You don't, you don't wear yeah, makeup, been, do you, I've Wayne? I've been updating my clothes. Oh, do you wear makeup at all or no? I don't lie I'm to me. A drag performer on the weekend. See, oh, they kept showing me. I, <laughs> I kept seeing. Oh, I love it. I knew it. They kept showing me clothes and makeup and lashes and hair, and I was like, "You be that. You bring that." Oh, they're giving me chills. Bring that part of you to your mediumship. That is part of who you okay. are. What's her name? What's your girl's name? Maxine Young. Oh, love it. Yeah. So you bring, when you yeah. go to do platform and when you go to get to that level, you bring that inner Maxine with you to the stage because it's needed, sweetheart. It's, you are needed. And so celebrate, <laughs> do it, be bold, be brave and be magnificent. Okay. Yes. Yes. I love it. That, that sounds good. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, I last... usually do. Go ahead. I usually do Diana Ross, Whitney Houston, and Tina <laughs> Turner. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I love it. And just, again, for the platform, think how much fun that would be for someone to, you know, have this beautiful evening, but have a little fun in there, too, right? Because Spirit wants us to have fun. Yeah. And, and think of who the, like, you know, think of the loved ones that are going to come through. I once had this um, girl come in. It was her grandfather in Spirit in his 90s. His wife had passed away, mm -hmm. talked about his long marriage and all his grandkids. Then all of a sudden, I saw the pride flag and I saw this man shaking his hips in a nightclub. And I was like, what? That was, <laughs> and I was like, I can't tell her. And she's like, tell me. I was like, I can't. She's like, say it. And I was like, I think he was gay too. I went to these clubs because he was and he stayed married all those years. His wife knew they mm -hmm. had an agreement. When she died, he was allowed to come out of the closet. And it's like that kind of stuff comes oh, okay. in. That stuff comes in because I'm open to it. I'm open to whatever comes in. So think of you, if you're open, how spirit is going to work with mm -hmm. you and, and your personality and your brightness. So let yourself shine. You're meant to do this. Although I do want a beauty box. I'm just saying before you retire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Wait. You can check on my website. Like you can look at my drag pictures on there. Oh, uh, why don't you in the comments on Facebook post a drag picture? We want to see, okay? Okay. Yes. All right, I will. Thank you. All right. Have a Good beautiful night. Good luck on your competition. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good night, honey. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye -bye. Oh, what a great way to end the show. Love it, right? So, and, and one of the things, you know, it's so great that he called in. You know, be who you are, everyone. You know, be who you are. You are needed. Don't fit into someone else's box, even if it's a beauty box, right? Be your own bright self. And that is how 
you're going to live in your truth. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel confident. And uh, that is our show for tonight. So I do want to thank everyone for watching, for tuning in. So many callers in the queue line. So I do apologize, but we tried to get through as many as we can. Please feel free to subscribe. You'll never miss an episode. You can leave a review, a nice one on iTunes for me. Lots of love. I have an exciting, exciting guest coming up soon so you stay tuned and everybody have a beautiful night and i'll see you next week bye everyone thank you for listening to the colby rebel show be sure to follow colby on social media at psychic rebel and if you've enjoyed this podcast please head on over to itunes to leave a review to help colby grow the tribe Colby is an international psychic medium, teacher, best-selling author, and speaker. She is a master teacher of the Lisa Williams International School of Spiritual Development and is the owner of the Colby Rebel Spirit Center in Los Angeles. Visit ColbyRebel.com.